Welcome back to the master cash book on Excel. Um, last video we demonstrated how to use control entry. Now before we go into entering um, all the data we want to enter, let's demonstrate another concept of opening balances. Now you want to start using this cash book and you have balances in your banks, balance, uh, cash balances after your last cash count, you have balances then you need to bring the balances into this cash book. Remember, it's only the cash balance that you bring in here and not any other um, balance in your balance sheet because this is just a cash book that manages up to 10 cash and bank accounts for you. So let's um, take away all this and let's, let's assume we have opening balances um, that we want to enter into the system how do we treat the opening balances so let's say um, so in January 1st we go to our bank statement after our consolations after our cash count we want to enter all the accounts we have in various banks all the amount we have in various banks on the 1st of January so I'm going to type the date I'm going to type opening balances um, but forward I will choose the bank and I'll just put something here, then put the code numbers, and I'll post, you know, to the various um, posting numbers. So let's just try that and uh, see how it works in this template. Okay, so I have um, all these amounts from General Bank PLC, Petty Cash, Good Bank Limited, Fine Bank uh, Limited. These are my balances from 2021 December 31st. I have the amount here, um, let's say 25,000. Now um, I can choose to um, create a receipt code for them or number for them. Just create something for them. Okay, I have this entire numbers, then no external ref. Just select cash inflow cash inflow cash inflow cash inflow so you see the total amount i have in my banks and cash is 2.84 million total amount i have in my um, bank and cash is 2.8 million so we have that um, figure here so this is how you enter opening the uh, balances of your cash account now where do we post this to my um, advice is to, you post this to return earnings don't post to any sales don't post to any debtors except um, it was paid directly from the debtor you know into this account if it's opening balances just post them to retain earnings so i go to my sort of account summary i'll look for return earnings somewhere down here before sales yeah posting code is 92 I'll just type 92, 92, 92, 92. So I've posted this to return earnings and I'm fine. If you go to your um, sort of account setup, you will see now have your total cash balance is 2.8, showing you how much we have currently as balance in this place. If you go to return earnings, you will see there is an amount there that is um, cumulative there for you so of course this is not for a balance sheet actually it's just to bring in your opening balance of your cash account into this system okay so we have our opening balances now um, we've received them let's treat one more transaction before we go to the next uh, entry let's say one of the directors paying money into an account on same on the 4th of January 22 can see um, cash paid in by director it was paid into let's say my bank PLC and the other's name is chief is a a bonafo RV Five. He paid in a sum of 1.5. This is cash inflow. 
Now posting code goes to director account. So we'll go to the actual account and look for the credit account. We have director's credit account 77. So we'll go back there and just type 77. So showing you how to bring in opening balances and how to record money paid in by a director or by a business owner, MD, CEO, and madam or guy. Any money they pay in, they pay in should go to their credit account. And any money they take for personal reasons should also go to their debit account. By so doing, you are keeping a proper cash book. Alright, next video, I'm going to start entering the data and we will now see how the reports will come out. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.